Reducing gun violence in New York City, a focus today for Governor Kathy Hochul and Mayor Eric Adams. They just wrapped up their first meeting of the Interstate Task Force on Illegal Guns. The meeting focused on getting guns off the street and tracking them before they reach the city. CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook is live at Morris Park in the Bronx with more this noon. Elijah. Chris and Mary, this is actually the first meeting of its kind. Both the governor and the mayor highlighting the importance of getting illegal guns off the streets to, of course, make New York City a safer place. And it comes just a day after gunfire rang out here on the campus of Jacoby Medical Center. Also saying, where are these guns coming from? Governor Hochul stressing the importance of getting to the root of the problem, tracking where these weapons are coming from. During the first meeting of the Interstate Task Force on Illegal Guns, the governor and New York mayor shining a grim light on the reality of what gun violence is creating. We have become an ocean of violence, a sea of violence. And as I have indicated, there are many rivers that are feeding this sea. And if we don't build a dam on each one of the rivers, we are going to become counterproductive. The numbers are going upwards. And we're also concerned about the victims of these crimes, in particular when members of our law enforcement are gunned down for doing nothing more than showing up. In the latest joint effort to bring state and city leaders from nine northeastern states, this new task force is expected to take on an aggressive approach to increasing public safety. According to the governor, the plan will include setting up information sharing systems, ways to share intelligence and tactics while partnering with prosecutors and law enforcement agencies in each region. What we have to focus on is real time gathering of intelligence. Not wait a couple of days, not wait till a lab is finished analyzing, real time, immediate response. And back here live, we're hearing that a performance review will be released in the coming days. In fact, the governor herself saying that she is currently looking at the data and will readjust if and when needed. Reporting live this afternoon in the Morris Park section of the Bronx, Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you.